I want to steal you for a conversation about tiny things. <laughs> because when I first came to the shop and I like started working under Scott and Pat, it was all about big metal and mm -hmm. forging. And I would be in the jewelry studio making these tiny things. And so you and I sort of disconnected for years and came back and mm -hmm. sat. Mm -hmm. And I love I also making moved out tiny of that things. big shop that you yeah. guys, that where you were with all of them. We all moved out of that big shop. Right. No, this is like. 3,600 buildings sort of disbanded and then reunited in small aggregate shapes, but I loved doing tiny stuff in jewelry, and so, mm -hmm. like, finding a blacksmith who's, like, gonna aim down to the millimeter on tiny, tiny jewelry, that's mm -hmm. what you do. Well, it's not, not all the time, but yeah, I, you know, I do have this thing where I like to change the, the material drastically, and when I make point things, I, I just want to always make them Right. With the hammer, it just always happens, and that that comes a lot from making the um, the you know, things like the skewers and the forks and things like sure. that. Sure. Yeah. But um, I do enjoy making the tiny forgings, and it it is uh, quite a nice challenge. I think I would say to try to you look at the the regular size axe. Okay, that's you know it's this big, the shape is that, and I'm going to try to make sure that it's this big. And um, I think I started those really getting into the tiny things um, when I took on the uh, Ring a Day challenge in 2017. Yeah, we um, were forging all sorts of great little rings. Tiny little knives and, and tiny little axes and then whatever. <laughs> that went, went on the ring. Um, and what I, so first of all, tiny things were the rings, I gave myself an hour at the end of the day to make something in particular. So that was one my hour time. to make something. Well, sometimes it was more, but that, you know, I would stop and, like, say, if I'm going to make them at the end of my work day at five o'clock, I'll stop doing the paid work at four, and I'll give myself an hour try to get something done in the hour. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. I've been, I've had some, you know, I've come up with an idea that takes more than that amount of time. And, but sometimes those are super fun. Um, but what that became to me was a study in shapes and form. And that I was able to do it on a small scale as like a sketch for maybe I want to explore style of drawing out here, or isolating the mass there, doing whatever, some other time on a bigger scale. So. so when you do your tiny forgings, does it ever lead to like a much larger version in your mind that you want to make later? Um, there have been a few shapes that I, I have put in the crock pot for later. Okay. And then um, have you ever gone from large to like, I want to make this really tiny? the forks. The forks? Yeah, I've made some little forks on a ring. Um, a lot of times it's just for me, it's I want to see if I can make that thing small. Yeah. I did some glass jacks Yeah. on the tiny scale. Oh, how, like how big? <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, so jacks, for those of you who don't know, are about this long. and they're. Well, they come in different forks. sizes, but yeah, I, I think yeah. I was going from the ones that are about that big. Yeah medium size. Right. And I've made a petite pair that's maybe five inches long. Mm -hmm. But you're talking. Except for sculpting. Yeah. So I made them. Little baby jacks. Poor Chuck. 